The EBIT valuation model is primarily an income statement as well as a balance sheet adjustment model to get the fair value of the equity of the stock. For companies like oil and gas where there's a lot of inconsistent cash flows as well as software companies where the balance sheet may not be as solid as something that has a lot of physical tangible assets, the EBIT model will help you value these type of companies. The way the model works is quite simple. It takes the EPS, now you can use the analyst estimate or the other options already provided for you, and the model will reverse engineer the EPS to come up with a normalized revenue number by reverse engineering all the margins that it's been achieving until now. And then with that revenue, the main driver behind the model then comes down to selecting the valuation mo uh, the valuation multiple for what you want to apply to the stock. And the multiple here refers to the EBIT multiple. And I've actually made it easy for you so that you can find out what multiple you should apply to these sections here simply by clicking on the link. It will open up the ratios tab and give and highlight the EV to EBIT multiple. And if you go all the way to the right, you can see the five year minimum, the median, and the maximum. What I like to do is I like to use these values to enter into the EBIT model. So in this case for Nike, I've got 11 as the five year minimum. 13.8, I'll round up to 14, and I'll round this one down to, say, 17. Now enter that in, which I've already done, and then when you hit refresh, the valuation for what this model gives you will be provided at the top. And then if you just work your way down each line, it's very simple and basic, and you, you can see how the fair value is calculated. The added benefit of using this EBIT model is that you can apply it to each operating segment of a company. Now whereas DCF or grain valuation or other models, they look to determine the intrinsic value of the entire company, with the EBIT model you can break down each segment and then use it as a sum of the parts. The adjustments to this model is very simple. You can either just update the EPS to whatever you think is the correct value, or you can override that completely and go directly to the revenue number. And by doing so, you can take control of either the EPS or the revenue to come up with a scenario that you feel fits the valuation for the company that you're looking at. So don't just get too comfortable with using a DCF. Try expanding your valuation towards um, with different and extra models and see how your view of the company can change based on the t different angle that you're looking at. So give it a whirl and be sure to either email me or leave me a comment if you have any questions. Thanks. Thanks for watching that video. Now click on that red subscribe button so that you get more tutorials and value investing stock analysis. And if you haven't done so, make sure you subscribe to the blog. I'll also throw in some free set of investing spreadsheets so that you can use it to value and analyze stocks. And finally, you can go to the YouTube channel now and view the other video tutorials that I have up. I hope you find it useful and hope to see you around.